everyone welcome back to another grocery haul thanks for joining me again this week let's go through what we've got also same as last week apologize for my voice it's still very croaky um just can't shake this little tickle in my throat that i need to cough nothing sinister just irritating i'm sure you'll probably know that feeling okay where to start this is all from woolies all click and collect like i said um, we're running through a four week deal for bonus points. It's coming up to Christmas. So the bonus points really count for us. So I will go same format as last week and try and go quite slow and give you the, uh, prices and price per unit as we go around. Okay. So we got three of just the regular soft whole milk sandwich loaves. Um, that's, I think it's just a step up from the, the bog standard TV loaf, but we like wholemeal in this house. My kids are odd. They actually don't like white bread. I think it's because I never gave it to them. They say, you know, they go to a party and they're like, oh, I don't like that bread, mum, because everyone else serves white bread. Never mind. Now, basmati rice. I normally get a five kilo bag, but this week there were none on special. And this two kilo was actually uh, the best option. So this was $7 for two kilos of rice. The price per unit was like one cent less than if you bought the Woolworths five kilo bag. So I just got this one because that kind of allowed me to use some money elsewhere and I'm not losing out on the saving. So if there's no rice on special again next week, I can either choose to get the big bag again or I can get this again while waiting for the specials on rice to occur. Does that make sense? I hope so. Um, not on special and Woolies didn't have their own brand, but I need some was the Arborio rice. Um, I've still got pumpkin and I want to make some risotto. Also for the pantry, oh, do you know what? I haven't had beetroot in a good long while. And my favorite is baby beets, but this can was on special. So I got this edgel, a sliced beetroot. I hope the pickle is not too pickly in there. You know, sometimes it's weird. I've also got pineapple slices in juice. Normally I buy Golden Circle, but I'm sorry, Golden Circle, you're just a bit too expensive at the minute. So these pineapple slices, it is. I hope they're okay because I haven't had the Woolies brand before. And still, still no frozen corn. So I'm getting canned corn. Um, we ate the, what did we get the other week? Corn cobs. But also they're, they're a bit expensive to keep doing. So canned corn, we'll try that out. Uh, let's keep going with pantry stuff. A couple of tomato paste, always good to have. I like the small tins because I can just grab one, use it, and I don't have to worry. I used to get the big jar and then like freeze it in portions. But guys, I'm forgetful. And you know, when you need tomato paste and you go, oh crap, it's in the freezer. <laughs> it's really not ideal so this is how i do it now it's better for my brain uh just some basil pesto woolies brand um woolies don't do their own version of red pesto just the basil so i wish they did red because i've got one child likes green one child likes red um i guess woolies you don't understand my family uh peanut butter now normally i buy the bigger um, big jar of peanut butter for, I think it's eight, $8.50, but, um, looking at price of peanut butter, we went for sanitarium. Now the difference is these aren't Australian peanuts, but it is just peanuts. Cause I don't like buying peanut butter that has sugar and salt and other things in it. And also when you get peanut butter, that's just peanuts, guys, store it in the fridge. Okay, it's going to go a little bit harder, um, but it, you can still spread it, um, but it's going to save all those oils from going rancid in the cupboard. So put it in the fridge once you open it, because it doesn't have any uh, preservatives and things like that in it. Cinnamon, uh, we're coming up to get ready for baking, getting the bake on. Um, so cinnamon, Woolies jar, 32 grams was actually the cheapest option. Normally with herbs and spices, I buy like the Hoyt's packets, but this was actually cheaper price per unit. So I'll put it on the screen. 
What else have we got? Now my, this one. My girls were enjoying Sam's pantry. We were buying their chopped cranberry. We, we were. We still are. But I thought, oh, this is a big value pack. They only have two flavours in the big value pack. So I thought, oh, this chocolate brownie one with roasted almonds. That, that'll be good. And while we were... When we were driving home last night, my daughter said she was hungry. I said, well, grab, grab a bar. She didn't like it. So then I passed it over to my youngest. I said, oh, you'll like this, won't you? She had a nibble. She goes, mm, yeah, it's good. But then she didn't eat it, which is like a surefire say, way of saying, uh, no, mum, I don't like it. So guess who gets a 12-bar value pack of chocolate brownie protein bars? Yes, that's right. They're all for me now. I don't, I don't really eat that many bars, but that'll be me. That'll be my husband. We'll, we'll be eating these now. Good purchase. Um, which, well, a couple of things over here, laundry wise, cuddly. This is my new favorite one. So I'll be purchasing this one. So that's why I have this. It was on special. I thought I better grab it. Also on special. This is my husband's deodorant. Uh, it's regularly $7.50, but when it's on special, it's half price, so I always get one. So this, we have, this will be four in the cupboard. So one being used, four in the cupboard, and then I'll keep that stock. So when he gets rid of one, the next time it's on special, another one in the cupboard. So we never run out and have to pay $7.50 for his deodorant. Um, kids, kids toothpaste. Um, I don't normally buy the, the these are on special which is why I bought Fun Minions, and, and look, it's open, because as soon as we brought it back, my youngest was like, can I go clean my teeth with the Minions? And it's like a minty blue gel thing, and she literally cleaned her three teeth three times, and then wanted to put toothpaste on everybody else's toothbrush. So she's very excited about brushing her teeth with Minions toothpaste. Um, don't know how long that will last. Uh, also on special was the McLean's. So into the cupboard, you know, keep up a stock of half price things so you don't have to ever pay full price is a good hint. Now, it's Woolies Butter Popcorn. Because, um, you know, we've got to try and save some cash somewhere. So we'll try these ones out. I got four of those. Um, my son will tell me whether they're good or not. Baking, 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 baking. Pure icing sugar. Now it's Christmas time. We do gingerbread cookies. We do uh, gingerbread houses. If you're going to make royal icing, you need pure icing sugar, not icing mixture because it won't go hard and set. So especially if you're going to make like a house or a structure or something out of your gingerbread. Um, plus, yeah, good for the all the ice biscuits. So these are on special. Uh, they won't be this week, but I got two of them. Because we're doing a lot of gingerbread cookies. And we also, we always make a house. Always. Uh, Oreos. Also a special price. They're a dollar a roll. So um, continuing on with putting some stuff away for the holidays. I loaded up on some Oreo cookies. Okay. I think that's most of the on special stuff. Right. Uh, Saturday night. Fake away. We, it's Mexican. Um, we've got corn chips. And this was the best deal on corn chips. They're round, though, but they're going to be used to make nachos. Then if anyone wants, we can do tacos or um, we call them. We just say that they're tacos, too, but when you just use a wrap for your thing, like a soft taco, right? Um, but the kids call them tacos, too. So a big old Mexican feast to be had. Then we've got juices, usual two orange and one apple. Although I do have an apple still in the cupboard. I probably didn't need to buy that, but it doesn't matter. It'll keep. It's, it's you know, cupboard, cupboard juice. Um, a bag of onions, just regular brown onions, one kilo. Some mini Roma tomatoes. A couple of... Avo, still two twenty each. These, oh, that one's. Yep, okay, they're ready to be used. Um, some will make a guac, and others will just be like avo toast. Um, these are a bunch of lemons. 
Um, I got these once again with baking. You're making royal icing. Um, squeeze the lemon juice. That's going to help your royal icing set rock hard. Um, odd bunch pears. The mango was so gorgeous the other week. I got another mango. And hang on, let me do the sniff test. Hmm. Not as mango as the, as the last mango, but I'm sure I'll be fine. This is a Kensington Pride. It was $2.50. Some bananas. They look lovely. Oh my god, what's under that one? Look at this guy. It's crooked. Cool. I love funky fruit. Uh, speaking of funky fruit, three continental cucumbers. These are a good price. And... I made, the other night I made for dinner, um, I was calling it Greek salad. My husband called it a shopska. Now, shopska, uh, if you don't know, is a Bulgarian salad, which consists of chopped up cucumber, tomato, red onion, and then like a grated feta topping with like a red wine vinaigrette. And it's delicious. Um, but my, I didn't shave my feta. I just chopped it up. So I was calling it more of a Greek but he's like, it doesn't have any olives. I'm like, you're right there. Greek does have olives. I didn't put any in. Anyway, I'm ranting on. Uh, he bought home from his work several packets of feta. So I've got a lot of feta to use up. So I'm planning on doing some more yummy salads like that. So lots of cucumber. I already have lots of tomatoes. We've got the onion already. So that's why there's so many there. Plus on the kids' dinner, a little simple salad. Cucumber, cherry tomato. Capsicum, bam, done. Next, uh, McCain Superfries once more. That's that's all I'm getting lately. Plus the other ones, you know, they're they are a bit more, a bit cheaper. But I wish Woolies did their. I don't really do their own brand chips. Um, I guess they have that Bell's Farm brand, don't they? But they're not Australian chips. If you're interested, they're from like. Belgium or something. Uh, chicken breast. Now th these were still nine dollars a kilo as of like from last week. So um, last week's kilo got me three chicken breasts. So I'm assuming this is the same. So it's ten dollars and four cents altogether. Then the Dasonia streaky bacon off the deli. Um, Eighteen dollars a kilo. So that is just over five hundred grams. Ten dollars. $10.19 for bacon. Oh, that's a lot, isn't it? Uh, these guys were a substitute for my normal bog standard diced up frozen veggies for the dog's dinner. So, mm, dogs, you got some fancy veggies coming your way. What's in here? Seasonal mix. Oh, there's capsicum in there. Cauliflower, broccoli, beans, and carrot. Well, that's cool. There's no corn in there. That's good because the corn just goes straight through them. Um, what else did we get? Oh, another extravagance to go with the bacon is this gorgeous Gotzinger black pudding. This stuff is yum. Uh, I think it was $7.50 for this 300 gram, but um, made the mistake of introducing our son to black pudding and now he loves it so he keeps requesting it all the time I'm like mm, every so often it's not an always food <laughs> um but yeah this stuff's lovely speaking of things that my son loves he loves cabana now now last week i mentioned i always get the hands cabana off the deli it's normally 18 dollars a kilo there was none last week so i got this kr castle main it was quite affordable this week, uh, the cabana is back on the deli, however, with a price rise. It is now $21.45 a kilo. So that's an increase of, brain do some maths computing, that's $3.45 more per kilo in just one week. So it's not even like a gradual rise. They're just hitting you with, with a massive increase. So I'm sorry, Woolies, I can no longer get Cabana off the deli. We'll be getting this KR Castle, mate. It wasn't too bad. Saving that, the Cabana 
at Aldi is very affordable. Although a little bit like chunky gristly, but it depends what you like. Uh, also, we've got the four pack of Sonia this week. We needed salami, so we've got the four pack salami. Then some sour cream for the Mexican. Kind of Mexican without sour cream, can you? And butter. Oh, I'm leaning on the frozen veggies. Uh, the Western style butter, still quite affordable um, for all the baking that needs to occur. And some more eggs, because we love eggs. And like I said, baking needs big eggs last week. Um, but our chickens are doing well. Right. And that's actually it, guys. That's what I've got. Now, we stuck to our budget, but that was with a... Um, $15 money off so um, we had to spend we had to spend at least $180 to get the $15 off now our, our weekly budget is $165 and sometimes I get there and pat myself on the back and sometimes I'm like oh my god what did I do um, because some weeks you just some weeks you need a lot of food right does everyone else find that like the, your food needs are kind of ebbs and flows there's always the basics and then there's always like the extra things that you might need. So this week it was um, baking. So you can see I didn't need as many vegetables. I've still got quite a load um, like prepped up and ready to go. And then I had some to the toiletry needs and stuff. Wait, did I mention, did I mention cling wrap? I don't think I did. Plant-based cling wrap. Uh, this is my favorite one to get and that was on special all right so that's everything okay guys thank you very much for listening to me waffle on for another week of grocery haul and i will see you all on my next video bye for now